touch your side, dear. Touch your side. In Jesus' name. Bring her here. Touch her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come. BMW. Amen. Amen. Thank no. you, Jesus. Amen. Which Amen. car are you driving now? A Kia Rio. I'm seeing a BMW. Thank you, Jesus. A Thank you, Harry. Amen. Thank you. God has healed you, my brother. Well, it's, it's like it's one of the things that you are praying for. Amen. So God has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Divorced. Hmm? I'm divorced. Why did you divorce him? Huh? It was not going well. Why did you listen to him? Huh? I'm not here to prophesy people because I've got a short time. But why did you listen to people? I was going by my desire. You thought it was your desire, but also listening somewhere. Huh? Yes. Mm. Well, what you have done was wrong. Because I don't know you, but I, I hear you speaking with some people about your marriage. And look where you are now. Someone is married, don't involve a third person. You know. Which language do you speak? Swahili. Swahili. Mm. Ish, who speaks Swahili here? Huh? Who speaks Swahili? 
come. Mungwe na mungwe akone. Zwawe. Ukasaro upala ki jala pala hao wanyoko fixa jala pala mutomo mwe. Oi. Fix your own cockroaches. Mama, I want you to tell this lady. Mutomo lo mungwe akone jai. Tell her. Bia kwako ni bia kwako. I know she can hear me. Singi za tuingi. Huh? You heard that? Yes. Tell her again. Via kuaku ni via kuaku. Singi za tuingi. What? You say what? Via kuaku ni via kuaku. Via kuaku. Via kuaku. Via kuaku. Ni via kuaku. Ni via kuaku. Yeah. Did you hear that? How? Because I see this lady. And I'm surprised someone came between you and your husband, even though it was a decision, but why the influence? This was very wrong. If now you have to divorce, don't allow another person to influence you. It's wrong. It's wrong, Mama, it's wrong. You know, there's no one who can say, I don't have a challenge in life, isn't it? There has to be a challenge somewhere. That's why we are called Christians. Because our faith is in Jesus. Whatever challenge that comes, give it to God. You hear that? Any challenge that comes to you, give it to God. But if you got challenge, you give it to a friend. Uh, that friend will show you. Because many friends here, even we don't know. Some of the friends that you speak with, they sleep with your husband. Speaking in parables. You come to this one, you say, blah, 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 my wife, my wife. From there, this man takes your wife. And you don't know that. I'm telling you. So, but I always say to myself, no, me, I'll never have a friend. You know why? That's where trouble comes from. The minute you've got a friend, trouble will come. Because when you are pressed with difficulties in your life, you feel like you can confine yourself with someone, isn't it? You can tell them your issue. From there, you are in trouble. This one will go and tell that one. That one will tell that one. Can you keep things to yourself? Tell God. Can I pray for you, Mama? God loves you. Thank you. But I was not happy with what I saw. And I said, why consulting another person? I want to speak something. You see, when you see me taking time, because I want to say something that won't make you happy, I'm asking God, God, how can I tell it? So God loves you. I want to, can I pray for you? Yes. You demon, come on! Out! Greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Travis T.E. Maganiza. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simon, who ministered upon her life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Thank you. My name is Lucy Motier. I come from Nairobi, Kenya. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, Prophet Andrews asked me where is my husband and I said that I am divorced and he asked me why and he said I listen to friends and that's not God's will for my life. Yes, and I should not have listened to friends and because of listening to others, the influence of others have gotten me where I am today. Yes, clearly before I went through my divorce or I went for my divorce, I spoke to a number of people including family 
So true, there are a number of people, several people that I spoke to. So it's true, they, I listen to friends, yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrew has located you and ministered upon your life? I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for the prophecy. And I believe it has brought, broken a barrier and that the best is yet to come. Amen. Thank you. Bring him here. Brother, your ears. I'm hearing sounds here. Oh, lift him up. The sounds in your ears. Mm -hmm. All the oh? time. All the time. Yeah. It's like voices. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true. They want to make you crazy. It's because of your destiny. Mm -hmm. So, but today we'll uproot this evil Amen. spirit. Uh, this spirit won't stop you. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. I'm hearing very funny sounds. This man will make it. Come on. His life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Lassi Malaji. I originally come from Palawara, but I stay here in around Tembisa. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you. Please confirm it. Yes, he approached me and said that my there's some sounds in my both of my ears, and there's a spirit that wants to make me crazy, and I confirm that because every time I hear sounds coming out from my ears then uh even wondered what was going on why am i hearing sounds when i'm not even listening to music or something so i confirmed that yeah and how has these sounds been affecting you it has been affecting me because i can't think straight i can't think well there's a lot of confusion when i try to reason i can't reason well because of these sounds yeah and how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life and even declared you free? I feel elated that today I've been declared free. I've been longing for this uh, deliverance. So today I'm happy that I've been declared free and I believe that I am free indeed. Amen. Come on! Come on! You demon, come on! Leave this man, your spiritual wife. Come on! Come on! Out! Come on, come on, come on, come out, come on. <coughs> you are healed, mama. God has healed you. God has healed you. You know her? Yeah? God has healed her. Yes, she will. Huh? Can you see that? What is this? Now I think it's 15 years. Every month when she got a period pain, she must vomit those things. I, I don't hear know. that. And me, I was just stopping. Uh, I didn't see this bucket. I was just stopping to tell her God has healed you. You know, because of this thing in the stomach. Yes, it's true. So I come from work today, they call me. They call so, you? Yes. Let's give glory to Jesus. Today I'll pray for you. God has healed you. This thing here will leave you. Thank you. You hear me? Okay. Where, where is your partner? Okay, Mutu. Mutu, Mutu, okay. Free nothing. Free nothing. She even operated here for mm. this. That's why I said I see something here on the stomach. Yes. And they are failing to find a solution. Jesus is the solution. Amen. In Jesus my name. Jesus is the solution. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name.
mighty name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Out. Don't cross your dot here. Jesus' name. Today God is setting you free, Mama. Jesus' name. You can pray for her, the person. Sir, very bad. Lift him up. Yeah. Okay. Take him to my wife there. Take him to my wife. Hey. Hey. Bring that brother. Come, sir. You must take care of your child. Do you Amen. hear me? Yes. Are you doing that? Yes, I am. Mm. You must take care of your child. Otherwise, uh, there will be a problem with your finances. Okay, I will. I will so do you it. need to do that. Because sometimes I see money going down. Yes. And you feel discouraged. So much. So I want to tell you, if you do it, God will bless you. Amen. So continue to support your child. Because the way it's happening now, Everything went down. Amen. So there's a time where you feel like, I, maybe this month I must stop. Or maybe I give small. Yes, I do so, give small sometimes. Please uh, continue to support your child. Amen. Or else there will be more attacks on you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Receive connection. In Jesus' name. Receive it now. Now, now. Come here, sir. Touch your stomach. I must, Amiria must tell this man, you come. You, the electrical business come. Um, you. You know, I, I must tell you, if I must not jump you. Uh, this is the plumbing business. Amen. So God said, uh, more clients that are coming after I pray for you. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. So, believe God that this business will grow. Amen. Plan B. Miriam must touch him again. Come. The plan B business, come. Let me touch you. Jesus. Jesus. It's free. Whether your enemies, they like it or not, God is going to bless you. Come.
When I finish with this lady, we are closing. Jesus! She always tells you about a problem here. Huh? That's true, sir. You know, this problem is the cause of her failing to find a job. Yes, 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 yes. exactly. Yes. It's been something here for a very long time. She said, is she is having a moving object in the Come stomach? On. Come on, you win. Oh, you ding! If, if this does not leave, she, she was going to study until she gets tired. This, this PhD now will work. Amen. After this. Okay. Yes. Uh, how can you have a PhD without a job? Yes, it's, it's true. She's an unemployed. Uh, so it's. Uh, yeah. Lift her up. You know, if we come here and tell you who's witching you, uh, we won't be safe again. We'll never be safe. Come on! Come on, you team! You must find a job as soon as this month. Come on! PhD will work. God bless. You. This is like going to nine years now with no job to ten years. Lift her up. It's like going to nine years now. But Jesus, when He set you free, you will become free. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? I'm Mutsidi Sililen Malibis Molaba Miracle, please. Uh, originally, I'm from Lesotho, and then uh, currently we're staying with our daughter here in Bosbeck. Ma, today during the service, um, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke up on your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. You have to tell me some of the things I couldn't hear. Uh, the, the, the last thing that I heard, he said, her PhD will work now. After this, her PhD will work. Yes. And were you facing any difficulties within your PhD? Yes, um, I obtained my PhD in June 2016. I haven't worked since. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And how would how has that affected you? It affected me so much because. You know, I'll go all my way up to help other people to get their own a PhD, even using my thesis, to help them out. And most of the people that I'll help with their research, you know, they'll progress. But um, finding that I don't, I don't. And um, I was very quick because I took a year and a half to finish my PhD. And... Um, you know, I'll write papers and I'll be recognized by other people. But for some reason, I couldn't get uh, employment. Yeah. 
So it's a PhD in what? It's in education, yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life and even declared that this PhD is going to work for you? I was shocked. I was shocked that he, he mentioned PhD because I was already giving up, you know. You know, when you feel like uh, actually your brain might be empty, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have anything, you know, anything to come in. Even when people call me Dr. Malibu, so I will, I will I'll be so angry, you know, please don't use that uh, uh, title, just call me by my name because I felt it was embarrassing and I, I really didn't like it, you know, I was even questioning myself, did I actually obtain PhD? Yes, so it, it was actually affecting me and other people were even laughing at me. Yeah, so that that was very shameful, you know, when you see your... Um, your colleagues that we started with, uh, they're progressing, you know, some are now professors, you know. Um, I ended up just writing papers, you know, and then, you know, when you write paper without um, an institution, it doesn't get recognized. So, to me, it was really painful. And how and do you feel that he spoke to you? And hey, I'm really happy. I'm very happy and yeah, I'm only processing it now, now that we are talking now. Um, and uh, yeah, he said, my husband just told me that he said within a month, he said uh, the PhD will work. So I'm really, really happy. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm really happy that uh, the servant of God could pick something that was actually uh, disturbing me, you know. I, 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 so I, I'm really, I'm really happy and I, I praise God. That. Why did you kill her children? Huh? Why is Why? Why did you kill her children? Why? You don't want her to have children? Never. Huh? Because I see this lady was pregnant with a son. Huh? Yeah. You are saying foyingi? Yeah. You don't want her to have children? Bona. Linya lobana foyingi. So leave her now. Leave her. Because you even took a partner away. Come on! name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Come here. This brother. This one. The name of Jesus. Are you? Tamai. 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 You see the way she's working. She's telling you a, a lot of answers. Samai! You see, it's very easy to tell what is happening. Are you? Why are you walking like that? Huh? Come, brother. Bring her here. Lift up your hands. 
Let's close. I, I was going out. I ended up coming this side. She's free.